bookmaker number one. Don't despair, he can put you in a happy mood. Come inside his barber shop with its adjustable musical mirror and he'll make you feel and look good. And if you like funky music, you can check out his water organ just down the road. If you're early or late, he says not to whine, for he has a perfect clock that tells you the time. He assures you that for 1,800 years, this water clock of his never fails to tell the exact time on a chime. From the letters in blue, can you guess who this clockmaker is from the ancient who's who? Introducing Decibius of Alexandria, an inventor and mathematician. One of his inventions is the most accurate water clock called Clepsidra. Clockmaker number two. He complains to his friend Narcissus the robot maker that his students are sleepy heads. For early in the morning, they cannot be easily woken up from their bed. Rocks the students more to sleep. What can I do? He asks in a quip. Our kids suggest to make an alarm clock with the loudest booming whistle, and indeed he proceeds to make one without a hassle. From the letters in blue, can you guess who this clockmaker is from the ancient who's who? Introducing Plato, a teacher and philosopher. He is also the inventor of the first alarm clock. Clockmaker number three. In the middle of the marketplace stands his tower of the winds as you get it. This tower tells you the time to buy or sell as you please. By day, the sundowns remind your shadow of the time, and by night, the water clock inside will do fine. It will also tell you if the weather is bright for a run in the countryside. And if you see a weather vane, remember his name, for it was he who first started the trend by making Triton, the master of the sea, point his rod to the wind. From the letters in blue, can you guess who this clockmaker is from the ancient who's who? Introducing Andronicus of Cirrus. He is the builder of the Tower of the Winds, a clock tower which combines sundials, a water clock and a weather vane.